Welcome to the Virtuoso Hybrid Infrastructure Virtual Networking Demo. Virtuoso Hybrid Infrastructure allows you to create a multi-layer network infrastructure that provides optimal security and isolation for your multi-tier applications. Let's review an example of a standard multi-tier application. Here is a logical schema of a typical multi-tier web application, whether it be Instagram, Tinder, or a mobility app. As you can see, a typical application consists of database servers that store our data, application servers working with this data, analyzing and processing it, as well as web servers, which are responsible for exchanging this data with our computer or mobile devices. As we seek to ensure application resiliency across the hardware and the software layers, we need multiple instances across each layer of the stack, database, app, and web. In addition, we must deploy load balancing on the front end of our web servers. And this will ensure traffic load balancing across our entire web environment. All servers, as well as load balancers, of course, are virtual machines. And given the importance of application security, we will isolate each tier from one another and allow only the traffic and the communications required between our virtual machines. To do this, we'll create a separate private or virtual network where every application tier for web network, app network, and database network. Next, we will connect these private networks with our public network using a virtual router. Only the load balancer will be connected to the public network, and we will use a floating IP from the public network assigned to the private IP of our load balancer. As Virtuoso Hybrid Infrastructure is, of course, based on OpenStack, we use VXLAN technology to provide private or virtual networks. Next, let's actually take a look to see how to create a virtual network in our self-service panel. Creating virtual networks. As you can see, we've switched to our compute schema in the self-service panel. We've already created several virtual machines, and a few private networks to help speed up the process. We want our network to automatically assign IP addresses to virtual machines. So we must keep the IP address management enabled, as you can see here. Next, we've got to pick a name for our network. Let's use web-network. And we'll click Next. And since this is a private network, we can really use any network settings that we'd like. We're gonna input them here. And note, as we're entering that, that the allocation pool allows us to define the scope of IP addresses for our virtual machines. And we'll click Next. Here, we can review the network settings and click Create a Virtual Network. Next, we will create two new virtual machines as our web servers. We're gonna name them web one and web two. For a detailed explanation, see the video on how to create new virtual machines. And the only other thing that is important to note is we will add all of these virtual machines to a web network that we've just created. Exactly. And next, we need to create a virtual router and we've got to connect our existing networks together. The names could be any valuable name, but let's just call it app-router. Next, we need to add our public and private networks to the router. Note that static network address and translation, SNAT, is enabled by default, allowing us to use floating IP or white IP from the public network to route traffic, from the public network to the network port connected to the private network, okay? Next step, let's create a load balancer for our web servers. 
And let's name our load balancer, load dash balancer. It's also important to note that we can actually create two load balancers in an active passive mode to provide high availability for the load balancer. So here we will enable high availability. Next, we want to connect our load balancer to the web server's private network. Since the load balancer will be directly connected to only the private network, we must enable floating IP to automatically assign public IP to the private IP of the load balancer. Then we'll select create new for the floating IP to be automatically created. As the next step, we need to create a new balancing pool and balancing pools have many parameters. Forwarding rule, let's assume for example, our applications use HTTPS traffic. So we'll select HTTPS traffic here and use 443 port for our load balancer. As for the backend port, the port on the virtual machine side, that is, we will also use 443 port for better security. We'll also support overall the following rules, HTTP, TCP, UDP. As for the balancing algorithm we support, least connection, round robin, and source IP. Here for this application, let's use round robin. Finally, we will add virtual machines to the balancing pool and the web servers, web one and web two. And just to note, more detail can be provided regarding our ability to support various options for the health and the monitoring. For example, how the load balancer can check the availability of virtual machines in a balancing pool, if you're interested. Now, it will take some time uh, to create the load balancer, but while it's creating, let's review the final schema again. In summary, we now have seen everything that's needed to create a multi-layer network infrastructure with optimal security and isolation for your multi-tier applications. All private networks are connected to the public network using virtual routers and load balancers with floating IP connected to the internet. Now, users can access the floating IP from the internet and the load balancer will route their traffic accordingly to one of our web servers. The web server, of course, will successfully request data from the application server. And the application server will successfully request data from the database. Our application works. Great job. That concludes our demo, but wait a second. We've actually forgotten a really important factor, the firewall. And we're going to discuss how to manage network security for virtual machines using security groups in our next video. We invite you to join us.